Metrolinx is out with a warning today about track safety after heart stopping video captures three young people walking along the tracks and narrowly being missed by a go train. At the very last second, these young people jumped out of the way. The last second. This video was captured on the Lakeshore West Line just over a week ago. It shows three young people on the tracks of the Humber River Rail Bridge near Dundas West. You can see one person clinging to the side of the bridge while the other two start running. According to Metrolinx, the train misses that person in the blue shirt by about a foot. They were terrified. They were clearly terrified and panicking and were trying to get out of their way or think in terms at one point that I guess they thought they could outrun the train. You cannot ever outrun a train. How long does it actually take a train to come to a stop? Well, it's more so the distance because this train was going about 40, 40 kilometers. Doesn't sound too fast, but because of the weight of the train, it took a kilometer to stop. According to Metro Lynx, trespassing is now happening almost daily. In fact, it happened this morning, causing a 40 minute delay on the Lakeshore East Line. And while no one was hurt today, many of these incidents do result in close calls or even death. Every year in the GTHA, up to 10 people are killed due to misadventure on the tracks. Here are more examples of what not to do. This video shows someone ignoring the railway crossing and almost getting clipped by the GO train. Another video shows people putting their lives in danger for the sake of a trackside selfie. Our message to all parents and to all teachers, to anybody working with young people, to please impress upon them the importance of staying off tracks. Any time is train time. Trespassing onto the tracks can come with a hefty fine, but in this case, Metrolinx is more concerned about educating. Our transit uh, safety officers would like to speak to their parents, not to be punitive to these young people. Uh, we don't want to charge them. Right. We want to talk to them. They are probably still traumatized. We want to make sure they're okay. Now the train operators and crew working that day, I'm told, were also traumatized. They truly believed they were going to kill those young people. Reporting live, Shauna Hunt, City News.